As the meme goes, I don't always shut down, but when I do shut down, I shut down a board. Ask most DBAs about the shutdown command, and they're going to tell you we've got shutdown, we've got shutdown immediate, and shutdown abort. Let's explore that a little bit more carefully. We don't actually have a shutdown command just in isolation in the Oracle database. Shutdown is synonymous with shutdown normal. And as you'd imagine, we're waiting for all sessions to get off the system. It's very unlikely that a shutdown normal is ever going to work on an actively running system because people just don't log off anymore. We have sessions that just persist always. Therefore, most people use shutdown immediate and shutdown immediate tries to forcibly get rid of sessions. Shutdown abort is the much more brutal option. It simply says, I'm taking the instance away from you and therefore we don't care what was going on. It sounds like a risky thing to do. But there is a fourth one. And that fourth one is shutdown transactional, which waits for active transactions to finish just in case someone was in the middle of doing something critical rather than rolling it back. We'll wait for that transaction to complete, assuming they do a commit, and then we'll go ahead and do a shutdown. Which one you want to use is up to you. But in all my time as an Oracle professional, I have never once had a database corruption occur due to shutdown abort. A lot of people think abort sounds like some catastrophic behavior you're doing, but in reality, shutdown abort is the same as pulling the power out of your system. And I'd imagine most of us DBAs aren't particularly concerned about that because we know we have the reliability of the redo logs. That's exactly why they're there, to provide instance recovery. If you're worried about shutdown abort corrupting your system, then you should be equally worried about losing power or losing a piece of hardware because ultimately you're saying I've lost faith in my instance to be able to do instance recovery. And I'd imagine that most of us don't worry about that at night. So for me, because I have faith in my redo log infrastructure, shutdown abort is going to be my go-to option generally when I want to quickly shut down the database. Because it is backed by that redo log infrastructure, the only time I probably won't do that is if I'm doing something to my database which might impact the redo logs. That could be a major upgrade, applying an RU, etc. I don't know what changes might be occurring to the management of Redo or the way Redo was written based on the changes to the binary. So I might shut down abort, start up, and then shut down normal during such things as upgrades or patch sets. But other than that, if I'm just bringing the database down because I want to take it away from people for some sort of activity, then shut down abort and start up is probably going to be the way I go. So this video is just to reassure you that shutdown abort, despite its name, isn't some catastrophic activity you'll do to your database. Generally, the much bigger concern when you're having a small outage to do some sort of activity on the database, the bigger concern is shutdown immediate taking too long or your outage window becoming extensive. Shutdown abort is a safe way of making sure your instances get brought down quickly and efficiently. <music>